So today we are going to take you along with us to go grocery shopping. Um, I always dread this day just because the stores are usually really crazy when we go, but Paul had today off and it's a weekday, so we're hoping to get some good luck and hopefully the store isn't too crowded, but we thought we'd show you what it's like to go shopping at a grocery store in France. So come along. Here in France is you have to pay for you yourself to get a basket but you get the money back you actually have a fake one euro coin so you just put it in here and watch that and you're ready to go shopping oh, they're all unlocked <laughs> <laughs> how do I do that <laughs> So this is car four. We usually come on weekends, but Paul luckily had a weekday off. So we decided to come hoping it would be less crowded, but clearly, as you can see, it's always busy here. At car four, you mainly come for groceries, but they try to fulfill everyone's needs by having entertainment, electronics, household items, you get the picture. As you can see, some of the aisles are taped off and that's because of COVID. Non-essential businesses are not allowed to stay open. Therefore, Carrefour can't sell non-essential items either. Mostly, you'll find only fresh fruits and veggies that are in season. Usually the fruits and veggies are sold by the weight, not the piece. You select your produce, weigh it on the scale, and select the photo that matches. It will then print out a sticker for the cashier to scan at checkout. So this is a white wine. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. This is a white wine aisle. Watch your back. Not only one aisle of wine. Not two, but three. And on both sides. Now for rosé. Look at that. All right, so we need some toilet paper. And one of the crazy things is they have pink toilet paper here. So strange to me. I've never seen pink toilet paper, but we never get the pink because it's ugly and it reminds me of Pepto Bismol. So one thing that's great is they carry Love Beauty and Planet here, and I need an all-natural deodorant, so I'm happy to find a vegan one here. If anybody has any recommendations of ones in France, that would be very helpful for me. So one thing you'll notice here is that the milk and eggs are left out. Super surprising to me when I got here. Another thing is that the eggs are always uh, brown here. I've never seen white eggs. But we're gonna go grab some um, oat milk instead. In America, to prevent salmonella, the eggs are washed. They then need to be refrigerated to prevent bacterial infection. In Europe, it's illegal to wash the eggs. Therefore, they vaccinate the chickens for salmonella instead. An unwashed egg refrigerated runs the risk of mildew growth. This is really cool. All the dirt is still on these carrots and these beets. So wash your veggies, people. We love to shop in this section is the bio section. It looks like it says bio, but it's actually bio. And it's all organic things. So they have chocolate, they have agave syrup, they have the sugar, they have everything. So it's really, really great. They also even have the wine section right here. Um, yeah. For all my cheese lovers,
the frozen potato aisle, my favorite aisle. I have never seen such a large selection of assorted potatoes. They have your hash browns, regular fries, street fries, and these guys, fried mashed potatoes. They come in all shapes and sizes and I am in heaven. This is the ice cream aisle, Paul's favorite aisle. So many goodies and I am super stoked because we just found haagen has some vegan choices for us. Here it is. Everyone was saying to try the Netflix and chill one. I don't know if it's here though. Okay, wrong way. I made a mistake. I said haagen and I meant uh, Ben and Jerry's, but this isn't vegan so we can't try it. Or is it? No, oh, it says vegetarians. Oh. There's cream and milk inside. Can't get that one. We'll get this fudge brownie one. But they have lots of good ice creams here. Price differences. Some products are priced the same. Others are shockingly cheaper. Like toilet paper, body wash, or this bag of potatoes. Or this Starbucks coffee, for example, which costs double the price at Target. So one thing is the chips here are at a very reasonable price point. A dollar forty-eight or a euro forty-eight, I should say. Can you believe it? I'm surrounded by yogurt. The French love their yogurt. Look at this. It's filled on both sides, from top to bottom. So you think this is a lot of yogurt? We're not even in the vegan section of yogurt yet. Come on. These carts are so hard to push. Here's my favorite section. They even have chocolate mousse here. I haven't tried these ones yet. They actually have like the fruit on the bottom. Okay, so this is the tiny, I think this is the American section. One thing is they don't have peanut butter. They only have Skippy peanut butter and I like all natural peanut butter because this stuff has so much sugar in it. But yeah, so they have Hellman's, mayonnaise, just pretty much condiments. Oh, there's some hot sauce. I've never seen that before, but how interesting is this stuff? I have never seen any of this in America, besides the beans. What is this? I have never seen these in America either. So you may have seen in our last video us talking about how there is no Mexican food here and that it's mainly Tex-Mex. And this is what I'm talking about, Old El Paso. So they have tortillas, um, this is the salsas I was talking about. I'd rather just make my own. And then they have these nasty packets of puck. Oh, they even have queso. Cheesy salsa. So this is the international aisle and they have a whole bunch of different varieties. Major bonus points is all the like Asian salsas that they have. Not salsas, but uh, hot condiments. <laughs> this is really good. We have this at home. Time for checkout. Don't forget your reusable bags and be prepared to bag all your items yourself. All right guys, so that was it. We're done shopping at Carrefour Market. It is huge, so different from America. And 
and it's funny because I actually used to love going grocery shopping but I think this one kind of overwhelms me so hopefully after a while of being here I've only been here four months I'll get used to it so let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one au revoir one thing that was um, pretty interesting is some guy came up to Paul while he He's was like filming. He's not some guy. He was the director of the okay, fucking place. Okay, not some guy. Director of a man, the whole, a gentleman. A gentleman. <laughs> the director of the whole like uh, supermarket. And first he stopped us from filming, and he was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and then so I, I explained to him what we was doing, and I was telling uh, about Sam being American and not speaking French. <laughs> Did you tell him? You didn't tell him because he just no, kept well, speaking he, in he, French. He figured it out after. Was like, yeah, and then French. at the very end of the conversation, he's like, oh, you don't speak French. And I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, well, basically, the point was that we should have asked in the beginning In the beginning, if we, learned we our lesson. were allowed to film in there and we, it would have been okay. Because then after talking to him, he was okay with us to keep on filming the, the whole thing. So mm -hmm. next time we'll know. Yeah, but he was like so proud. Paul was telling me everything he was saying. Oh, yeah like how he's so proud of like French supermarkets and how they're so big and they really want you to have everything into one one little little like one mm -hmm. store so you don't have to go in different places to get all the things mm -hmm. you need Which and it's also true. for you know, he also mentioned like insisted on the fact that it's for everyone like old young different Aww. social classes different like um, you know religion because they have like uh, kosher things yeah, they have true. like uh, for uh, Muslims they have for all these different types of stuff. I should have told them, can you get some pinto beans, sir? I'd really yeah. appreciate and that. Yeah, and vegan cheese. I can't believe More variety of um, salsas and vegan cheese.